cool uh, so once again very good morning everyone hope all of you are doing good thank you so much for being here and let's uh, begin the session so it's a live analysis of nifty and bank nifty using uh, book maps order flow tools and powered by true data all right so before i proceed uh, so there, there is a quick disclaimer uh, whatever the information that i'm going to share from now onwards is for educational purpose only don't consider it for a uh, buy sell buy or sell recommendations please do thorough research before taking any decisions because stock market investments are subject to market risk all right so let's quickly get into the chart all right so i'm opening a 30 minute chart now right now we are looking into nifty continuous chart uh, so basically nifty futures data and uh, as as usual okay so as uh, usual we go by the framework that we regularly follow if you are attending our session on a regular basis you will be knowing it but anyway i'll just uh, want to i just want to uh, recall it again so it's called a tle framework all right so in simple words t means a trend okay so t means trend and l means locations and e means entry and exit okay so in simple words T means a trend means uh, at the present moment uh, the first step is to define the trend in which way the market is trying to move whether it is moving in upward direction or downward direction or sideways direction once we are clear with the overall direction of the market or the trend of the market so all it is all, all it uh, all it for us to take is uh, just a minute. Yeah. all it takes us for us to align with the existing trend of the market in simple words let's say if the market is moving in upward direction okay so how we define the upward direction so basically higher highs and higher lows the basic price action method so if the market is making higher highs and higher lows we define it as an uptrend if the market is making lower lows and lower highs the uh, lower lows and lower highs then we define it as a downtrend if market is going nowhere and it is making a range kind of a movement then we will define it as a sideways market once we define the direction of the market we need to align with this particular trend so in that the second step is to identify the locations we don't take a random decisions we take entry and exits at a specific desirable locations in simple words basically the support and resistances for intraday trading it may be like previous day high previous day low or the first one hour high and low we call it as an ib high and ib low so all these are the levels that we monitor and we observe the price when the price approaches to those levels and we take the decisions according to and in line with the existing trend these two steps complete so then comes the final step where we take entry and exit triggers which we uh, do by using the uh, bookmap uh, tool so i will be explaining about the process at the present moment so first let's focus on the trend in which way the market is trying to move all right just a moment so by just looking at the price we can clearly identify that from this point onwards market is clearly making higher highs and higher lows all right so in terms of the 30 minute chart market is presently trending in the upward direction and if you also see the broader picture all right so let me zoom out yeah if you also look at the broader picture you can clearly see that the market is clearly trending in the upward direction from around 17000 level all right, 17,000 level. So in terms of the trend, it is very clear for us, even in the short term and the broader picture, market is presently trending in upward direction. Okay. So in that sense, it all makes sense for us to align with a trend or the primary trend of the market, which is uptrend. So we can look for the long opportunities in Nifty. So let's look into the bank Nifty chart. All right. So in terms of the bank nifty the same scenario market is presently trending in the upward direction and market is at the present moment even in the short term span so market took the reversal from around 42,400 level and it is presently trending in the upward direction by making higher highs and higher lows so it is very clear for us that we can look for the long opportunities all right and then comes the big question that where we can look for the opportunities at the present moment uh, it's around uh, 10 8 am all right so ib range or the first one hour range is about to complete and let's identify the desirable locations or basically the support and resistances which are just a moment yeah 
which are very critical so at the present moment uh, last day previous day high is somewhere around 43570 definitely this level is going to play the critical role and then we have uh, probable i think this is going to be the high below so i am going to mark that as well 43044 and then we have an immediate uh, level which is at 42680 why it is important is because you can see here <clears throat> here and again market took the reversal from the same level so more the market respect that level significance of the support and resistance increases that you already know it all right so let's look into the immediate resistances if there are any all right so just a moment let me shift down to daily chart yeah at the present moment we are trading at uh, all time highs absolutely the 43570 level is an all time high for bank nifty definitely that level is going to play the critical role all right so just a moment and then let's move on to nifty and mark the crucial level for the day all right so just a moment so if you have any questions please take a note of it so i'll be asking the questions once my uh, discussion on the analysis is complete so i'll be moving on to the question so if you have any particular questions to ask this is a probable high so definitely the day's high is going to play the critical role 18685 to 686 level and considering and one of the important point okay so comparing to nifty bank nifty is still struggling why because you can see <clears throat> bank nifty is still way way to below the uh, all time high but nifty is already i think uh, it's somewhere around trading at the all time high already so it is already breaking out and uh, the first one hour decision uh, the first one hour uh, bias or the first one hour uh, trading activity shows the clear decisiveness in terms of the buying activity you can see that this first 30 minute candle okay so first 30 minute activity is so decisive that there was no selling pressure at all so how we can say that so there is no wick at all so the break of the previous day high looks decisive in terms of the price okay so once this is clear for you then we can look into the third step so far we have completed uh, the first process is to identify the trend and second process is to identify the desirable locations in simple words the support and resistances where we can monitor our price action then comes the third step where we can look for entry and exit so there are several ways this is where i'm going to use the book map chart there are so many ways uh, by which we can look into the entry and exit triggers uh, today i'll be explaining uh, the footprint charts along with the combination of uh, absorption indicator so this footprint charts are uh, recently introduced in uh, just a moment just give me a moment yeah so if you just look at the overall uh, book map <coughs> india pro version so in that the footprint charts was recently introduced in the indian market so last session also i discussed about the footprint chart so today i'm i'm going to discuss about the combo of uh, absorption indicator and uh, uh, the footprint chart indicator all right so just a moment okay clear meanwhile if you have any questions while discussing about the settings or anything it may be related to anything this uh, today's discussion please take a note of it i'll be asking questions and you can use the chat option to interact with me all right well so let's uh, <coughs> quickly look into the action so we can clearly see i'll disable both absorption and footprint indicator this is how the bear uh, indicator looks like or the book map uh, tool looks like so in this if you don't know uh, what this lines are basically it simply means the present okay so for example uh, this uh, red line indicates a uh, 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 best offer and the green line indicates a best bid at that particular point of time okay so yeah so it is not a price uh, uh, completed activity or the market price it is basically the best bid and best offer the beauty of this particular line is that it shows us the structure within the candle okay so if you just enable uh, the candlestick charts over here you can do that so right now i have enabled the 5 minute candlestick charts 
so if you just look at the candle so we will be able to look at open high low close okay so of this particular candle but by using by using the best bid and best offer uh, differentiation so we can clearly look into the structure within the entire candlestick itself this gives us the uh, opportunity to enter and exit the trades way earlier before even trend occurs so or not before even trend occurs but way earlier in the entire trend so that that's that's what the benefit of this best bid and best offer line so we're going to refer to that <coughs> sorry no, i'm not going to use the candlestick charts here once this is clear to you then we are looking into the uh, bubbles over here okay so this uh, red and green bubbles are nothing but the delta information so what is delta delta means let's say market orders okay so in terms of that present moment let's say five orders executed it's completed orders market buy orders and similarly at the same time there is 10 market sell orders in the same price level so aggressive this is what we can call it as an aggressive buy or market buy and this is what and we can call it as an aggressive sell or market sell aggressive buy minus aggressive sell is equal to delta in this case minus buy so if the delta is negative that means at that price level at that point of time aggressive sellers are more aggressive i mean uh, they won the overall game at that particular price level so this is what we can identify if the delta is positive then the bubble will be identified in the green level uh, green color or if the delta is negative then it will be identified as the uh, red bubble and one more thing we can look into the information at the at the bubble level is that if the bubble is bigger relative okay so this is a relative information this is not a numerical information so if you compare this bubble and this bubble even though they are the same red bubble so we can clearly see that at this price level the transactions were more comparing to this price level even though the delta is negative over here the delta uh, in terms of the volume transactions the transactions were more at this price level so that's what it indicates in terms of the relativeness all right so similar goes with a uh, green bubble as well so then let's go to the configure add-ons okay so if you go, uh, go to the configure add-ons button over here so you'll be able to uh, or i think uh, the footprint chart is by default available for those who have the pro version of uh, bookmap chart so you can enable the footprint chart over here and the absorption indicator if you are not able to see the absorption indicator and footprint uh, chart so you can download them from the bookmap chart by simply googling it so for example let's say absorption indicator bookmap so if you just type this you'll be able to land up in the absorption indicator uh, window so there you will be able to download the indicator using this particular link once this is downloaded so you just have to simply go to the configure add-ons button over here and you can add the add-ons which are downloaded As you can see these are the downloaded add-ons so footprint charts is by default available so once i enabled it okay so let me explain you what I, what exactly the absorption indicator is in simple words uh, you can see the condition over here if within 2.5 seconds okay so this is the default setting i haven't changed anything over here if within 2.5 seconds 2819 orders got executed so then identify it as an absorption so this is a condition the logic behind it is very simple that at any given point of time okay let me explain you with a chart over here at this price level okay we can see the absorption here okay that means around 9600 orders got executed at this price level within 2.5 seconds and the beauty of the indicator is that it shows us based on the behavior okay so at this price level it was an aggressive sell orders that got executed within 2.5 seconds so the question over here is if someone is aggressively selling the market within 2.5 seconds bracket who is consuming those orders because for any market orders to get executed there has to be the limit order opposite to that all right so in that sense if this is happening within at same price level if it is happening within the short period of time then it will be identified as just a moment it will be identified as an absorption and that shows us the presence of passive buyers okay so you can see 9600 orders got executed at this price level within 2.5 seconds that's why this particular indicator identified this particular condition is an absorption and specifically 
the passive by absorption if you go to the setting of absorption indicator the green dots the green indications will indicate the passive buyer or the presence of limit buyer okay and passive seller means the pink color you can see this is where we see the 3100 quantity of passive sellers and again here also there is uh, one more setting i want to show you so there is an automatic mode and manual mode so right now i have disabled the automatic mode that means you have to manually enter the orders for example let's say nifty is present market size is uh, the maximum number of orders that you can place in one order is 100 lots so in that case i'm going to keep it as 5000 quantities that means uh, 100 lots so the indicator will show us only where the condition met of 5000 quantities executed at the same price level within 2.5 seconds so this is one of the way if you make it automatic so that means software will automatically calculate based on the today's scenario so i'm going to keep it as automatic mode because i don't want to change this particular number manually one thing if you want to do it you can simply do it by 100 lots or if you if you don't want to do that automatic mode it looks back 30 minute the last 30 minute transactions it considers the average volume of that particular 30 minute chart and it multiplies it by five so last 30 minute assume that five is the average orders that got executed and multiplied by five so the input that will be considered here will be 25 okay so at the present moment it is considering 2692 since you are keeping it as an automatic mode automatically this particular number will be updated based on the present recent information so that's why i don't want to change anything over here in terms of the automatic mode and then comes uh, in terms of the footprint chart i strongly recommend you to watch the last uh, session because i have discussed a very basic of uh, footprint charts but to give you the perspective over here i'm using a time interval that means i'm looking into the specific interval specific time how much footprint interval is five minute right now i'm looking into the five minute footprint chart information and the bar width is nothing but the graphical information change if i make it as 80 you can change the you can notice the change over here okay so this is the footprint chart that we are looking into so this is the footprint charts if i just change the footprint charts width okay i will make it as 100 so then it will be automatically changed okay so it's a visual representation then we have a horizontal smart scaling so it is uh, recommended to keep it active because so automatically the text and uh, overall uh, the bar width will be automatically adjusted so smart scaling is absolutely important so i i don't want to change anything over here and background time i am going to look into the histogram right now whatever the information that we are seeing here the graphical information it's nothing but the histogram delta plus and minus so it shows us uh, three information number one it shows us uh, what are the number of orders that that's got executed in terms of the cells and buys so for example in this case this was the cell this was the aggressive buy okay so you can clearly see that at this price there was 6150 levels uh, 6150 quantities executed as a market buy orders and hence the bar is painted in the green color and if you also notice the change over here in this price level okay there was around 26800 quantities got executed in terms of the market buy so even in this price level buyers are aggressive okay so that means uh, aggressive buys are more and comparing to this aggressive buy this is more that's why the relativeness if you just look into the or compare the both levels so the column width is more here and one more important point is that the color of the bar so you can compare even though they are green they are identified with the different colors the shades we can say the shades the darker the shade is more the number of activities or more number of transactions happened at that specific price levels all right so just a moment so in this case we can clearly see that the moment we look into this we can see that this price level has got 26800 market buy orders and comparing to all the price levels this is where we are seeing the more number of transactions at the same time they are the market market buy orders were more aggressive in that price levels that's the information we get from footprint charts okay and one more critical information i want to show you so you can change the transparency factor and most important point over here is use shares okay so if i disable the shares uh, it will only consider green and uh, red colors to identify the bar colors but if i use the shares it will show us where the number of maximum activities happened so it will show us even though it is a green so it will differentiate the overall number of transactions happened at that specific price levels
so then footprint bar type chart so there are different way of calculating uh, so right now i'm using a buy into sell so i'm i don't want to change anything over there so it shows us the buy into sell uh, calculations of the footprint charts okay the most important point over here is that the tick multiplier okay so listen to me carefully this is a critical information so what this indicates is that it's nothing but the vertical width or vertical uh, height of the bar so let me explain you this is a height of the column okay so for assume that it is 18000 okay it is 18k and the high of the this uh, bar is 18003 how I'm considering 18,003 because that will be calculated based on the input that you in the tick multiplier. So that's why this particular parameter is important. And in this case for Nifty, I'm using it as three. That means for every three points. Okay. So for every three points, the footprint charts will be calculated. And within that three points price level. So we will get the information of how much orders got executed. Overall, what was the transaction? Who were in control? And most importantly, what is the aggressiveness level of them? So these are the information we're going to get. So this will be changed. Uh, the tick multiplier will change based on the instrument uh, present uh, price level. For Nifty, I'm using presently three. Okay. For Bank Nifty, I'm presently using six. The double of Nifty. All right. So you have to adjust this according to the visual factor. So how you are, uh, how the visual factor of the overall footprint charts are looking like so it has to look clean so that's the overall idea of uh, giving a tick multiplier so then once it is clear for you then how we can use this information in order to take the decision so that's the basic question right so i'm going to explain you the combo of uh, absorption indicator and the footprint chart indicator okay just a moment once the trend is clear, okay, once we know that the market is primarily moving in the upward direction, then we are looking for long opportunities and then we are also clear with the critical price levels. Today it was a day high. So once this is clear for us, we can look for the long opportunities. How we can do that? Say for example, market took the correction over here, okay, and we saw the absorptions, the passive buying absorptions all over this particular trend. And from this point onwards, market took the, again, the continuation of the trend happens over here. So in this particular case, okay, so we can look for the passive buying activity, first point, and the break of last swing high. That can also be the trigger or the entry trigger for us, all right. Or we can look for a specific price levels. In this case, uh, the today's high was a specific key level for us. In that case, Assume that the break of this particular level, you have taken an entry. This is one of the way to get into the trade, but it will be more aggressive, aggressive kind of a trade. At this stage, market took the reversal. Okay, market took the reversal from this price level. So we know that this was the day high for Nifty. And right now, this is where the swing is. So you can also look for the break of this particular swing and then also take the entry. So this is little conservative comparing to the last method, which is getting directly into the trade here. Or if you are little aggressive, so you can straight away take into the entry when there was an absorption, when there was an absorption over here and the break of last swing high can also be the trigger for entry. All right. Once this is clear, we can utilize the overall footprint chart information in order to either take an entry. Okay. Just a moment. Yeah. Either take an entry or simply to trial our stop loss. For example, let's say assume that you have taken an entry over here. Okay. At this price level, once you are entered, you know that you have to keep the stop loss to the last swing low or the last absorption level. Once your stop loss is placed. Okay. For every five minute, we will get the footprint chart information. We can utilize in the two ways. One is that where the number of maximum activities are happening for example let's say in this price level there was an aggressive buy okay there was an aggressive buy and comparing to the overall level the it was compare uh, relatively it was more number of uh, uh, buyer activities were more at this price level since we are into the long trade we don't want to get into the trap okay so just a moment just give me a moment
ಒಂದ್ ನಿಮಿಷ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ just a moment yeah just give me a moment okay all right so once this is uh, clear so assume that we have taken an entry over here and uh, this is where we know that the maximum number of activities happen at the same time the buyers or aggressive buys were more at this price level since we are in the long trade we don't want anything or uh, any particular aggressive buying activity happening uh, in terms of our direction so if the price is accepting above this particular price level then it is very good for us okay because the one who entered aggressive buy who entered here are strong enough to continue the price action in the upward direction but by any chance price is taking the reversal from that particular price level then that is a caution for us in that case we can simply look for trailing our stop loss to the clo as close as to uh, or as close as possible or we can uh, reduce our stop loss so that we can also reduce our risk this is one of the way we can use the footprint charts this is point one or we can also use the footprint charts to keep our stop loss active for example let's say at this price level okay so when you entered over here instead of keeping stop loss at the low level you can simply keep your stop loss to the maximum number of activities that happened over here all right so maximum number of activities happened over here and similarly after five minutes you can simply trial your stop loss so in this case the overall transaction happened at the higher level itself so that was a caution for us you can simply trial your stop loss to the last swing low this is one of the way you can uh, safeguard your profits or just a moment yeah see at the present moment okay so assume that you were in the trade and uh, this is where the maximum number of aggressive buying activity happened and you can simply keep your stop loss just below the column and at the present moment let's say uh, the stop loss is getting triggered over here so that's a that's a good thing so we don't want to you know hold our losses so we, we simply want to exit the trade whenever there is a caution this is one of the way we can use the footprint charts or there is one more beautiful way we can use the footprint charts in order to take an entry or even the exit or stop loss condition so in terms of the entry okay so let me explain you here so by any chance okay this is the critical level that identified okay assume that this this is the level where we are trying to monitor the price and once the price approaches to this level we will be getting a real time information of the footprint charts as you are presently seeing so as we can see that around 10350 orders executed as a market sell orders and that's a good point but the follow up of the price is absolutely critical so assume that after this particular you know activity if the price is instead of moving downwards if the price is accepting and if the price is moving again upward direction then the cells who entered over here the sellers who entered over in this particular price is getting trapped that's that's the basic identification of it so just a moment So one, the first information is that where the maximum number of activities are happening and what is the behavior of that volumes and then comes the follow up of the price, how the price is behaving after the information occurs. So in this case, the price has to sustain above this particular price level at the present moment in order to, you know, actively trade in the upward direction. So if we at all want to look for a long, long opportunities, we can look for long opportunities above this particular level based on the price pattern so we can simply look for the break of last high if at all it happens so if it is not happening if the price is sustaining below this particular price level then that's not a good sign for a long opportunities or long trades this is one of the way or once the critical levels are identified for example in this case this this is level this is the level uh, which plays a critical role right when price approaches to this level, we will be having a order flow information. Just give me a moment. Yeah. So once price approaches to this price level, okay. So we don't want to see any kind of, uh, you know, aggressive buying activity with a more relative, relative transaction. So something like this. Okay. So these are the, assume that these are the bars and maximum number of uh, aggressive buys happened over here. Once this happens, we can simply trial our stop loss as close as possible. 
and if the price is sustaining above that the overall aggressive buys level then that's a good sign for us we can continue to hold our trades in the original direction this is one of the way we can use so in simple words the overall uh, information of footprint will help us to identify where the maximum number of activities are taking place and what is the behavioral factor of that particular transactions and based on that how we can you know take the decisions based on that particular information all right this is how we can utilize the information at the present moment since the price is uh, looking in the upward direction or uh, presently trending in the upward direction we are looking for a long opportunities okay so break of this particular price level or you can see this level this is also one of the important key level where we are presently seeing absorption as well okay absorption and supported by more aggressive columns will be the better condition for us to look for a uh, long opportunities so if that happens if that happens okay listen to me carefully there will be a short pullback and again there will be a short pullback in the opposite direction the break of this particular swing can be a better opportunity for us to look for a long trade this is one of the way we can look for at the present moment in the nifty so let's uh, look into the bank nifty information bank nifty also we're looking for a long opportunities the moment but as i said uh, in terms of the aggressiveness or the decisiveness uh, bank nifty is still looking weaker comparing to the nifty all right so in this particular case we can look for a uh, long opportunities at the day low level or when market approaches to this uh, support level then we can look for the information of footprint charts and as well as the absorption indicator information then we can look for the long opportunity same pattern okay so price approaches to this level there will be a pullback and there will be a swing and break of that particular swing can also be the entry point for us all right so if this is very clear for you let me recall whatever the discussions that we had so far the first thing is uh, that we follow a framework called a tle t means a trend so in which way the market is presently trying to move so uh, basically identification of the trend and then uh, we have uh, something called as uh, uh, location where we identify the desirable locations or desirable uh, uh, specific locations for us to get into the trade support and resistances previous day high previous day low ib high and ib low once that is clear then we move on to the third step where we utilize the information in today i have uh, discussed about the combo of absorption and the uh, footprint charts we can use this information in order to trigger the entry and exits and also at the same time trial our stop loss so that we can safeguard our profits at at the same time all right if this is uh, very clear to you all right so just a moment so if this is very clear for you uh, now let's uh, look into the questions so if you have any particular questions you can ask all right so you can utilize the chart option over here so if you just uh, look into the right side right uh, top corner you'll be able to see the open chat option you can uh, interact with me over here or you can also go to the bookmap india voice channel and open the chart from there also you can interact with me all right so any questions on uh, today's discussion okay venu is asking hi sir can you please show me the footprint parameters and uh, footprint size okay so for nifty okay for nifty footprint charts i'm using the time interval setting for 5 minute par width is 100 font size is maximum 14 font size is 14 but i have enabled the smart scaling so if i zoom in and zoom out so it will be automatically uh it will be automatically updated but the maximum number of uh, footprint uh, uh, font size is basically 14 all right and i'm using a histogram uh, delta plus and minus positive color green and uh, negative color red and i have enabled the use shades option transparency factor you can change this according to if i reduce the transparency the transparency of bar will be reduced so if you keep it full so it will be clearly visible is background right and left aligned so i want to keep it as a left aligned if i enable right enabled so it will be opposite to the alignment so it's basically the visual factors okay and then buy into sell uh, footprint types i am presently using text i have enabled all right 
and uh, po positive text and uh, negative text color so i made it as uh, uh, white only there is no change that, that's a default setting maximum font size is 14 crypto rounding so don't think too much about this the main point for us is the tick multiplier so i have kept it as three provided so this is also one of the information i missed to tell you so when you add a instrument right so let me add some instrument over here okay so while enabling or while subscribing to the instrument it will ask you what is the tick size that you want to look for so if you want to use the footprint charts at the present moment so you can keep it as one okay so this tick size is very important so once this is kept as one okay then if you give this information as three then it will consider as three if you keep it as that as a 0.5 then if you give the input as three three multiplied by 0.5 how much 1.5 so while subscribing to the instrument if you want to use the footprint charts make sure that you keep it as uh, you know one as the tick size i hope that is clear any questions see that's the pattern that is presently been forming we are breaking off uh, this high okay provided price has to sustain above this uh, aggressive uh, by, uh, you know selling level or the maximum number of volumes uh, happened that particular price level the price has to sustain so presently market is breaking that price level and uh, momentum is coming up in the upward direction all right so break of uh, today's high okay break of today's high can uh, bring additional momentum and comparing to bank nifty nifty is looking little uh, you know uh, uh, convinced or kind of uh, conviction of uh, longs is uh, pretty much high in terms of the nifty for today's market all right so let's look into the information of yeah so price is presently struggling at day high so let me change this to 15 minute chart now so break of this high is very important at the present moment 18,680 break and sustenance of the price above this is quite uh, important in order to gain any particular momentum in the upward direction similarly let's check out bank nifty if you have any particular question feel free to ask in uh, chat option the if you look at the opportunity part uh, so definitely bank nifty has a more opportunity uh, in terms of the overall rewards for example let's say assume that the price is uh, surviving above this particular swing and room for bank nifty is quite bigger but for nifty also it is very much bigger 43,570 level can be easily targeted if the price is surviving above this level and price is sustaining and continuing its momentum 43,570 uh, can be a better target for back nifty all right so just a moment any questions there is one more uh, way of uh, uh, you know calculating the footprint charts <coughs> if you go to the footprints instead of time interval you can also look for the range okay okay so there is a question can the footprint okay i will take the question in the first place and after that i will explain that feature can the footprint add-ons be combined with any other book map advanced add-on for better analysis of nifty and bank nifty or is it a standalone okay so we can use it as a standalone indicator combining with a price but the better way is the that i prefer we can use the absorptions absorption indicator along with the footprint will give us first thing that this particular lines uh, help us to identify the structure within the candle point one and point two footprint will help us the levels price levels identify the price levels where the maximum number of activities happened and also the behavior of that particular uh, transactions and most importantly the absorption will help us to identify the possible 
reversals in the structure for example let's say if the market is moving in the upward direction so the possibility of us getting the you know absorptions in this particular key levels okay is very very much high so you can clearly notice that if i just zoom in, zoom out the overall uh, price so you can clearly see that okay so let me disable the footprint and show you so we can clearly see that wherever the you know uh, absorptions are taking place obviously market is forming a structure over there okay so that's the beauty of uh, absorption indicator very much critical and uh, we can combine both absorption and also the footprint charts to gain more clarity and also conviction all right Yeah, we can also utilize the sweep indicator. Uh, sweep indicator will help us to identify the momentum. So, I'll explain. The, I think that combo I'll be explaining in the next week. I'll try to explain it in the next week. All right. Sweep indicator. All right. So, we can also utilize that. Or we can also combine. Okay. We can also look for the information of uh, this cumulative delta. Okay. This is also one of the beautiful way to look for any uh, kind of reversals for example let's say market is presently moving in the upward direction we know we have identified the trend as upward direction and we are looking for a long opportunities either we can enter at the break of uh, specific levels or we can look for the reversal trades mean reversal rates uh, kind of uh, let's say at the present moment okay this is a hypothetical example Presently, market has trended in the downward direction in this swing, but we are looking for a long opportunities. So, in terms of the overall, uh, you know, this cumulative delta. So, if this is also going down and the price is also moving in the downward direction, that indicates or that shows the overall relativeness between both the actions. But if the price is moving down, if the price is making lower lows, but the cumulative delta is making a higher loss then there is a divergence so as as simple as like as similar to the rsi divergence so if the divergence is between the price the structure of the price and the uh, cumulative delta uh, structure then that indicates the overall selling activity that happened in the price is more weaker and provided along with an absorption if there is an absorption at the same time and market is moving the upward direction we can look for aggressive entry okay aggressive long entry in this particular case by just keeping the stop loss below the absorption level i hope that is clear that is also one of the strong way to get into the trade little aggressive but uh, it can offer the bigger rewards right Any other questions? Give me a moment. Okay, time interval types okay so we go to the footprint charts uh, time interval right now i'm using as a uh, five minute you if you want you can change it to the 10 minutes 15 minutes so i strongly recommend because for every trader it uh, differentiates so some uh, user will use five minute charts and someone will use a 15 minute charts so whatever the time frame that you are monitoring at the present moment let's say i, I don't want to change anything so i want to monitor the footprints in five minutes if you are a trader who monitors the 15 minute candles in the price chart so then you can look for a 15 minute information of the footprint charts so 
the logic remains the same but intervals of the time will change up to 30 minutes you can change it so right now i am going to use it as a five minute information all right so it's nothing but the specific time information within which we look for the calculation of the footprint charts all right so venu is asking poc parameters please okay so if you just enable the svp okay session wise uh, range volume profile right click on it configure columns then you will be able to or uh, you will have the option to enable the poc on the chart if you just enable this okay you can change the color setting and all so you can do that okay so point of control is nothing but the price level where the maximum number of transactions happened so if the price if the poc is trending in the upward direction okay so that means market is accepting in the upward direction so there is a there is more demand in the market and hence the overall number of transactions are taking place on an average in the upward direction this is a powerful tool to identify the immediate trend of the market immediate change of the trend in the market so for today's market you can clearly see that the point of control earlier it was in this level and then this is at this level and in present moment it is presently trading at 18670 so if, if you identified the overall price as per the price the market was moving in the upward direction and similarly point of control is also moving in the upward direction that adds a point to the initial uh, discussions or initial consideration of the price trend so if the point of control is uh, you know continuously making a lower lows and lower rise that means the overall price is presently trending in the downward direction and the volumes are taking the more and more volumes are taking place in the downward direction that shows the acceptance i want to explain you this uh, logic or the concept one is that the price moving in a certain direction and price accepting in certain direction so the time factor and the volume factor considers or it it counts when it comes to the part of acceptance so acceptance of the price is very much critical for us to monitor the price and also look for a trade opportunities for example let's say we assume or we are looking for a long opportunities as long as price survives and sustains at the higher levels that is a good sign for any particular long opportunities so number of time the more the number of time it spends in our direction and more number of volumes or more number of acceptance which we identify using the point of control so that's a good sign for us to stay in the long trade all right or any particular uh, uh, trend direction that you have identified so we can identify that acceptance part by using the point of control so we can clearly see how beautifully market is presently trending so we identified this is where the overall absorption we have seen and uh, market is presently surviving above this particular price level and we are seeing a momentum all right so break of the today's high can additionally add a further momentum to the overall price all right i hope that is clear and was helpful so if you have any questions you can ask or we will simply okay so there is a big question from jv can we say that footprint chart shows the number of contracts traded while absorption shows whether the limit order is completely absorbed and if price moves beyond the absorption point okay the price is expected to continue the same direction as price is accepted okay that's a brilliant question from jv so who is asking just a moment just give me a moment so absorption shows whether the limit orders completely absorbed okay uh, that's the one point so that will be identified using the absorption indicator and price is expected to continue in the same direction as the price is accepted if the price is surviving above the absorption level absolutely if the price is accepting particularly above the overall absorption levels okay and the maximum number of uh, level that we see in the footprint charts that's a good sign for us so for example in this case price is presently surviving above this aggressive sell so that means whoever sold here right so aggressively sold the market over here are getting trapped or maybe they were the profit booking so the question here is if someone is aggressively selling so who is consuming those orders so in that case number one is that the identification of this behavior of the price behavior of the volume 
and how the price is behaving so how the price is behaving so that we define it as define it based on the acceptance or based on the price behavior so price as i said earlier i was discussing price has to survive above this particular level and it has to spend more time above this price level then that's a good sign for us so that's how we can you know integrate the information I hope that is clear. Any other questions? So this is how the powerful uh, the absorption indicator indicators are. So you can clearly see how you, how beautifully the overall absorptions have identified. But the most important point always go by the framework that will help you one thing is to avoid the unnecessary trades and uh, second just a moment yeah second is to have the clear framework and clear picture that what i should do what i should not do so just because you are seeing the absorption you should not get into the long trade so we are aligning this information with the present trend so that will help us or that will give the power for us to align with the basic trend so we are not looking for a trade or looking for an opportunity again is the present trend so that's why framework is absolutely important got it so where can traders purchase book maps footprint add-ons okay so i think i have shown that information just give me a moment if you visit the bookmap dot true data dot in we just uh, right now i'm using uh, the bookmap india pro version which covers almost all the majority of the advanced add-ons cumulative volume delta you can see that all these advanced add-ons vwap vwap is basically the basic indicator but correlation tracker absorption indicator sweep indicator footprint footprint is by defaultly enabled for the pro version and instrument uh, copy break even point price levels and cross bbo so all these are the advanced add-ons that you are going to get with the bookmap pro version for future cds equity all right and in case we see lower numbers of contracts being traded above the absorption point okay jv is asking one more question would mean that it could be a fake breakout or okay so i strongly recommend you that don't completely concentrate or uh, don't try to concentrate on the numbers why because it always you know it, it you cannot say that this is a bigger number there there is always a you know uh, you know <laughs> what do you say there is always the bigger number or the smaller number comparing to the present information so it is important so if you have a number information it is important to have the reference for it okay if you don't have a reference for it or the means for it then definitely it make no sense for us to look for the information of the numbers alone stand alone so that's why it is important for us to look for the relative information for example let's say at the present moment how can you say that the 18150 let me zoom in a bit so how can you say that 10700 is the bigger number all right you cannot say that just by looking at the number but if you have a relativeness to that so for example let's say if you just compare this price level which has a 4850 4, uh, you know aggressive buys wherein this particular level has 10700 aggressive buys so if you have a comparison then obviously it makes sense to look at the numbers yes yes depending on what point of the candle yeah if you just looking at the overall information of that particular specific candle if you have a comparison number then absolutely it makes sense absolutely it makes sense so some reference has to be there if you if you are depending on the numbers i hope that is clear
एनी अदर क्वेश्चन so overall uh, let me recall an information one so today we have discussed about the basic framework so basically tle trend location and entry and exits so for trend we utilize the information of the price historical data to uh, identify the existing trend and we look for the trading opportunities uh, either it is long and short based on the existing trend if the market is making higher and higher lows if the market is in uptrend then we look for a long opportunities either at the breakout or the pullback or if the market is moving in the downward direction primarily then we look for a shorting opportunities either at the break of the last uh, supports or the pullback at the resistances that's one of the information if the market is moving in the sideways direction then we look for the buy low and sell high activities or buy and uh, buy low sell high uh, kind of uh, uh, trading opportunities that we look for if the market is presently trending in the sideways market so context is important for us first thing is to identify the trend second thing is to identify the desirable locations and third thing is to identify the trading opportunities using the information of any information like it may be an absorption indicator footprint indicator we can use these information in order to take an entry and exit and also be cautious about the present change of the market and based on that we can simply trial our stop loss according to the present information that has been uh, you know plotted by the market all right so this is how we uh, you know <clears throat> look for trading opportunities i hope that is clear and uh, thank you so much for your wonderful time i hope the today's session added value to you please consider this as a, a educational information don't consider it as a buy or sell recommendations uh, the information that i have shared for now is for educational purpose only it is not any buy or sell recommendations please do thorough research before taking any decisions to please do thorough research before taking any decisions because you know uh, trading and uh, investments are subject to market risk so keep attending the sessions uh, the information will be dynamic according to the dynamics of the market see you next monday thank you so much for your time just a moment